afternoon. You are one of research and public uh, policy students, yeah. um, program head uh, in the University of Lagos. Um, what uh, have you learned from the program in the last two years? Oh well, um, it's been it's been a good program and it's been it's been very enlightening and it's been very challenging academic wise now. But all in all, not to bug you, you know, it's been a program that has um, given us um, an insight into what um, research and uh, public policy is all about. You know, it, 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 you know, as 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 um, as as um, initiated by 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 the by people who made this program possible. You know, research and public policy is is here to stay because that is the pain of our social political um, environment as it were now you know you, you can't you can't dissect or you can you know remove the two they are like siamese you know they go hand in hand because you need research to actually implement or to actually formulate good policies so we've been taught and we've been um, grilled you know in the course of um, two years to actually uh, be better policy analysts better researchers and better uh, 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 policy formulators. So all in all, it's been it's been very interesting. We've added so good. You know, it came it came with its own challenges, but we over, we overcame it. And I can tell you that in future and um, uh, in future and subsequently, you shall see the the, the 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 policy formulators from this class representing us at the global square. The global square where it uh, uh, with, a, with a raise of problem, refugees the country from economic issues to political issues, crisis in Niger Delta, self determination by iPod. From what you have learned in the class so far, what advice, what po what policy advice or policy issues uh, do you have for federal government? Okay, presently I'm actually working on um, my project, you know, uh, stand on federalism and all the things to come with it. So. Um, is, is a contemporary issue and is a trending issue and you know with um, the involvement of um, the hip-hop uh, movement and the like so it, it's not something we can wash away you know my advice to the federal government and those at the end of affairs is uh, to understand that the society or governance is not what it used to be before you know governance is now more engaging you must it's more um, uh, encompassing you must begin to engage your citizens, you understand, in things that matters matters most. You understand, you can't, uh, we can't live in a parochial setting, whereas the government makes decision and it feels they can just load it up on. But you must engage. And there's something I call policy of reconciliation. Policy of reconciliation means uh, policy of reconciliation means whereas government brings all parties to the joint board and begin to formulate policies that are actually to the benefit of the masses. You understand, not elites, elites policies but policies that actually impact the life of the masses all agitations all um, secession movement you know insurgency militancy is actually down to bad governance you know that is the pain of what is on ground so i would appeal to those who are managing the affairs of the country the, the, the country called nigeria to actually be conscious of the fact that it is not business as usual any longer you know people are getting why is that people are getting more intelligent, people are getting more educated, and people are demanding for good governance from them. And it's not, it's not rocket science, it's what they can give to, the, to, to their citizens. So they should, please, as a matter of urgency, bring everybody to the joint board and begin to formulate policies that will actually meet the yearnings and the, uh, the aspiration of the common man. When I mean the common man, people living at the grassroots level. Thank you, sir.